Now, <laughs> let's talk about cost of living. And again, Joe, we've talked about it every week because it is relentless. Yep. Today, uh, about housing affordability, on top of that, this fundamental idea that I have issues with, which is if you add more demand for people yep. that are trying to rent a home, it becomes more complicated. Today I was reading that some significant portion, like a quarter, of all of the land that Queensland has been holding on to to eventually one day turn into homes is unviable, can't be used. Yeah. So there is no magic wand here. But honestly, the Prime Minister, you know, again, nice of him to stop over. Please, he's got the Lonely, tra uh, Lonely Planet Guide to be a fish <laughs> week if he wants to, uh, as he tours the world, yep. as he flies to the moon and beyond. Yep. Um but no real focus on this when Parliament returns. Yeah, look, I, I think it is just one of those things where it is it is difficult. The government has already had its fingers burned by overpromising in the election campaign, so it can't. Kind so of... now it should underdeliver as a government. Well, I, I suppose <laughs> I suppose I think it's it's probably going to be very wary of making promises that it can't keep. I think the situation has been worse, obviously, than I think pretty much everyone expected. We thought the rate rate hikes were probably maybe we were just, it was just wishful thinking, but we thought the rate hikes were probably over, and then we got that higher than expected number in the lead up to November. Hence the cup day hike. Um, but again, I, I think it, it is a difficult circle to square because, you know, I, there are concerns obviously about immigration numbers and housing supply. We need to get much, much, much more housing supply online ASAP. By the same token, we've got all these bottlenecks in the in the economy that are being um, uh, that are holding up supply and therefore causing inflation to rise because we have skill shortages, we don't have enough workers to do jobs. So um, it is a very difficult one, you know, People often raise the number of students coming in. Well, that's a big export for Australia. We're selling them our education. Yes, they're here when they we sell it to them, but they spend their money and they pay big money to, to do it. And that's that's money that can then be used to, to spend on Australia. And so it is um, it is a difficult one. It is a it is a as I've kind of done, I hope I don't have splinters in my ass, but you know, it is it is one that for every claim there is an equally valid counterclaim. Sure, but my issue in on, on, on it's Matt. pretty clear, Paul. The, the government has botched... They have botched the, our emergence uh, from COVID. Uh, they have totally stuffed this up. And the sooner they admit that and reorient, the better for all of us. Uh, obviously, we needed to uh, let more people in once we opened the borders up after COVID. We'd gone a couple of years without having any net migration. And there were a lot of workforce shortages. But the, they, the government here has opened the floodgates without any plan to house mm. uh, a number of people the size of Canberra every year. That's what they're bringing in now. It's double, more than double our long-term average of net migration. It's had an enormous impact on the housing market. It's a big reason for the why inflation here in Australia is being so persistent and higher than most other developed countries. Uh, so we've got to get that under control. And what frustrates me right now is everybody can see that now. Blind Freddy can see it. You mm. might, might give the government maybe a little bit of slack uh, given the uniqueness of COVID and the need to open up afterwards. But you shouldn't be giving them any slack now that their refusal, their pig-headed refusal, uh, to recognise that this is the cause of so much pain and they need to restrain the migration numbers going forward. There's no evidence they're even considering this or reviewing it. They're no. just leaving these floodgates open and it's getting worse and worse and worse. 